Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Some of you have been asking to see a, an FLL mission and see the program that I use to get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with a spring showdown mission. Our team is gonna be going on March 16th to Legoland for the spring showdown. There's a new mat with the same into orbit models. I'm gonna go ahead and do a mission on that mat showing you the program that I use. Stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this video up into a couple of sections. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what mission I'm gonna do and what I want the robot to do. I'm gonna hop on my laptop and show you the program, and then I'm gonna show the mission being done with my robot. So let's go to the table. Okay, let's go ahead and explain this mission. So this robot's gonna come over to here, which was once the inter-orbit observatory, and it's going to pull this arm all the way here into the green scoring range. So there's a lot involved in this mission, um, pulling, backing up, pushing. So this robot's gonna basically, I'm gonna go ahead and map it out for you, a forward, turn, forward, turn, forward, turn, What's going to happen here, let me just rotate this back here. So this arm's going to come down. We're going to back up. It's going to turn it so we can push it forward into the green scoring range. So let's go ahead and see that. Okay, everybody, I am on my Lego Mindstorm software here. And let me go ahead and just show you what each block is. And again, if you choose to do your own way, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying this is um, the way to go or uh, this is perfect. Again, this is um, this is just the way I do things. And, you know, obviously you can take or leave what you don't like. So here we go. Uh, this first block is to go forward. And I just use this move tank block right down here. I go ahead and I just set it at 30 just so it, can, it goes slow enough for you guys to see it. I am a degrees person. Um, I've told you guys before why I like degrees, but I don't. I'll, I won't get into that there. Okay. When I do turns, I just do a single motor turn. I don't do um, a double motor turn. So this is just going to make that turn to get around the food production. Uh, I'm going forward to angle this so I can go straight across the board. Uh, this turn is so that I can straighten out and go straight across the board. You'll see this better when you actually watch the video of the robot. Um, this long forward is to get over to that temperature or the previous into orbit observatory uh, model. Uh, this is going to be my basically my 90 degree turn so I can be facing the model. Then this uh, block gets me forward to get to the actual arm. This is going to be the gate drop so that arm can come down. This is going to be the backup so I can pull that arm out. This is going to be the turn so I can actually uh, have my robot facing the right way. And this last block is to have my robot go forward and push that needle into the green scoring section. So it's uh, nothing overly complicated. Um, it's just, uh, again, I know in an FLL competition, you don't want to be at 30% motor speed, but it, it just goes slow so you guys can see everything and not have to you know, wonder, whoa, 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 what is all that? Um, so what we're going to do is I have downloaded this already. And let's go to the board and watch this one in action. All right, everybody, let's do this. That is a weird sounding ball bearing. That's looking good. Whoa, I'll take that. Barely in the scoring range. But in uh, missions like this, uh, you take what you can get. 
So guys, there you go. Um, so the program you saw, and you you can see what I did. It, you know, you guys can have your own options on what you do with the program. But that's just, um, you know, the meat of this video was uh, a lot of you have been asking, what do I do for programming? Um, I try to keep it simple and try to keep my lines straight. Uh, try not to get over complicated. So there you have it. There is the temperature mission. Um, a lot involved in this. This definitely was not easy. A lot of trial and error, a lot of fixing, a lot of variables went involved um, as far as placement of the robot and just a lot of things can go wrong on this kind of thing. Okay, guys, there you have it. That's the program I use. Obviously, I'm not going to endorse that the way I do it is the way everybody should do it. You guys got to have to find your comfort level and figure out what do you do better with degrees, time, um, you know, what, you know, in the program, what are you guys using to get your missions done? So those of you that have just asked to see what program I use, that's it. And I'm not endorsing it, saying it's the best. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you're still having a great time with robotics. Um, I will catch you on the next video. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.